what we're doing. No, there's no sound at no, all. No, that's so. because it's coming. Go. Because, yeah, now? watch. I've just fixed the sound. Y'all didn't huh. plug it in. 331 episodes in. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I really feel bad for the people who are watching this live going, what am I watching? Yeah, you know what they're missing? Poop. Those of you who are in the car have been hitting that 30-second forward uh, thing for a while now. Uh, but, yeah, so... Yeah, 331 episodes. Most podcasts, they say, don't even last past 10. Uh, no, 50 is the number. It's like 99% of podcasts don't get to 50 episodes. Yeah. 99%. Yeah. Wow. Did Five Whiskey Patrick get to 50? Oh, I don't think so. I think yeah, I, I don't think like mine 40. did either. Because yeah. I mean, Y'all just stopped your doing yours? Y'all had a... So, well, I'm Tracy sorry. couldn't come in because she was all scared. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're, yeah, that was yeah. Cool. Of the Rona. Well, yeah. now that things are starting to lighten up, are y'all going to start I think, it up yeah, again? I need to reach out to her. I mean, I, yeah, I think we should be able, I think we're both pretty much good to go. I'm still trying to get guests to come sit in the studio and do a podcast with me because I don't want to do it over Zoom. Dude, that you, doesn't sound you like fun. offer, well, the thing with Patrick's is, is they sit around and they drink whiskey and yeah. they talk. You, you know, it, you're right. It's not the same That's over Zoom. Saying. It also it's, doesn't always sound great, like. I did that podcast a week and a half ago, and I went back and listened to it. And it's the earphones that I've been using, like, for everything. I don't sound great. It's very... And I'm like, why has nobody told me this is bad? That you know, I that's should be doing something better. One thing that I will say about the radio show for us is that we... We made a commitment from day one that we were going to be here every day and roll through mm -hmm. it. And uh, we were just going to treat this like like life and we didn't do zooms we didn't do any of that stuff mm -hmm. webex we didn't do mm -hmm. anything we came in and we did our jobs and we're like we all kind of said in the early part when everybody really didn't know what was going on we're like okay look just know that if one of us gets sick we all get sick yeah. and we we if discussed one, all I think that the first conversation was if one of us gets it stay home if if it turns out two or three of us have it we're just all coming in we'll do the show with coronavirus yeah well, we might not sound great <laughs> a lot yeah, of coughing so, and whatever. And it's We're weird, too. Do it again, we I, I told you, I went and I did the uh, anti antibodies test again. I'm still negative on it. Now, let me explain something. It has run through my house. Every single person in my house has had it. I have done three different antibodies tests, and it's never showed up. And I had, remember, like uh, back in January of last year, I had, where, I had some kind of virus that I got really ill with. I couldn't even go up the stairs at my house. I would get to the top of the stairs. I was winded. I couldn't breathe. And I was I wrote it off back then to just being fat. Yeah. Everybody has that friend that thinks they had coronavirus but probably didn't really have I'm it. I'm telling and you. I had, us, it's Bubba. You I'm know. telling you guys. Between the fire department exposure, mm -hmm. the fact that everybody in my house, and when my wife had it, it was one of those things that it was like, she's like, well, do you want me to quarantine away? I said, no. And I was all hugging and kissing and all that. I'm like, I'm I'm ready to get this. Let's get this over oh with because I want over, my antibodies. We're trying to avoid it. He's over there intentionally trying to get it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, only and, Bubba. I got the shot. You did. I got yeah. the shot because you want to go see your Garth. That's really it. I just want to go to concerts. I don't care. Load me up, man. I'll tell you, they made a party out of it, and they had like bands playing, and there were cheerleaders and. I was like, all right, like that's cool. Just stick me in the arm. <laughs> there were fine. cheerleaders. Yeah, they were cheerleaders. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's kind of cool. Waving their pom poms. <laughs> what? And, yeah. Are you kidding? Like real no. cheerleaders, like with the skirts and like everything? Like NFL cheerleaders. Yeah. Mm hmm. Because wow. they haven't been able to do anything else, apparently. So they're like, dude, just go to the coronavirus thing. Wow. <laughs> they had nothing else for them. Yeah. So wow. they were cheering us on while we're driving through to that's go. That's such get an shots. American thing, by the way. In other countries, they don't have cheerleaders for any no. of their sports. That's no. an American thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's why America is the best. It's true. America is the best. Don't change it. Quit changing America. America is the best. <laughs> and you know it's gonna. They, I mean, they already changed cheerleaders. It used to be it was just girls. Then mm -hmm. you had the cheer. Uh, you had the guy cheer team, and then it was mixed. And now it's like nobody cares anymore. Was there ever just a guy cheer team? Yeah. Yeah. Where Texas A&M and oh, oh yeah, Texas A&M. They don't have really? girl cheerleaders. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're uh, you got the oh, yell leaders. leaders. Yell leaders, yeah, mm -hmm. yell leaders. Yeah, yeah. it's real. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what my father said at the LSU Texas A&M game when we were sitting because four rows you were back biased. But I'm just saying, as, <laughs> and my father looks down and sees the yell leaders, and I know because we're on the air there, and I'm like, yeah, man, I, that's the yell leaders. They don't have cheerleaders. They just and he goes. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have cheerleaders. Wait, Say what? You're telling me that those four little dudes right there 
are all the cheerleaders they have. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I wow. actually, but you know what? I actually really enjoy like the Corps of Cadets. And, oh. you know, if you're at an A&M yeah. game, they have all the people with the swords and everything, Listen. you know, all around the entire field. There's people with swords. And They're- if you charge the field to go streaking, somebody's oh. going to impale you. That's awesome. Are they the yell leaders? No, that's no, what no, I no. thought. It's part of the core cadets. And no, they have... seemed. Yeah, I've seen them like on the sides. I don't that's think I've ever seen best. just the dudes. I want people with swords just rounding the the studio here. Wouldn't that be cool? I, no, that's <laughs> not a good idea. That's not a good idea. Just saying, no swords. I know you guys are always packing heat, but nobody needs a sword. No, you I know, like the idea of somebody got a with a knife, saber. and he plays with it all the time like yeah. a child. I do. <laughs> Look, it's just. <laughs> He's just always playing with okay, I'm Fonzie. Always <laughs> I know, it's really. How many times have you accidentally uh, poked yourself? Or Six. Uh, I've, no, I had a really bad cut early on. I got it. <laughs> you and learned? I, and you I learned cut, and I stopped. It? I stopped using it. And then uh, our bud Sam, Sam gave us uh, gave me this. Sam, big shout out to him. And um, number 13. And uh, I, so I stopped using it because, well, I cut myself. Right, smart. And, and then I, uh, I went for months. And then I was like, oh, you know what? I'll pick that back up. That's right. You know what? That cut healed. I can get a new one now. <laughs> That's right. It didn't get past me. Skin's tougher. That's right. Remember that one time I, Big D always makes fun of the one time I felt, we jumped out of this truck one time and I scraped my hand my right there on my wrist on the ground. So I'm like, we we're at this event. I'm like, dude, I'm just going to pour salt in it. So I grabbed a packet of salt from like a vendor and I just poured it on top of it. I'm like, look at that. It's good. It stopped the bleeding. I was the dumbest kid ever. Mm-hmm. I, I told him I said, I wouldn't do that. It's just going to make it worse. Dude, I still have a, a scar, scar today right there. Yeah. yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah. Good stuff. You're That's, so cool. I tell people. I have a scar on the back of my wrist from when I fell out of a van in Japan <laughs> at Camp Fuji. <laughs> right on the Right on the concrete. In front oh, of yes. the in colonel? front of the colonel and the sergeant major. Yeah, awesome. Marine Corps colonel yes. and sergeant major watched you roll out because oh, yeah. you say fall out of the van. Oh no, it, it, was, was, a it roll. was not a graceful fall. It was more of a it was a tumble with Think a Chris Farley twist and a, yes. doing a, a mm. stunt piece. <laughs> That's what it was. It was you and you were drunk. Oh my goodness! Wow. I was, what? what? I'm st- are you kidding me? <laughs> Drinking with Marines and singing oh. karaoke? It was... Oh, it was a beautiful night. It was a great night. One of the greatest nights of my life. I that really... I will I will say... I don't know. We've I done... Mean, I was going to say, though, singing karaoke and drinking with Marines with Army guys the next night. That was also a pretty good night. And then, pretty uh, great. And then, and then the, all of us went out after the Navy Bay. Even you came Big out D. for a little while. Oh, no, yeah, he did. No, he did. Mm. You came. I mean, you didn't go bar hopping after Which dinner. Which one? But you, when we were in uh, Yokosuka, and we actually went and walked around the city. Yeah, we went, walked around. I didn't go to he the. He didn't uh, go to the bars to and the, drink uh, with us until uh, 3 a.m. and asked some dude if he was a ninja like Bubba did. That was a. <laughs> sure did. First what? of all, I Bubba blame like, Jesse May. Are you a ninja? Jesse May Peluso, who's one of the funniest <laughs> people ever. She goes, Hey, look, Bubba, a ninja. And I went, did he look I'm gonna go talk like to the ninja. ninja. Oh, it was a guy who walked in and he was like all mangoed out, you know. And I, I thought, well, I'm gonna go talk to him. And I walked up. I'm like, hey, man, are you a ninja? He's like, yeah. I'm like, Phew. I sat down next to him. We had a couple shots and we talked for a while. I say we talked. I mean, you talked. You talked. Yeah, I talked. Were you in the Foot Clan? I don't know what that means. I don't know. He's in the Wu Tang Clan. That's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles joke for everybody. Ninja Turtles joke. That was pretty good. (laughs) Do you know Master Splinter? Yeah, I should never be allowed out of the country again. No, I do embarrassing things sometimes. (laughs) It's a fun trip, though. Really good trip. Uh, Speaking of good times, man, I uh, I had a chance to hang out with my dad this week. He was uh, he had a uh, doctor's appointment, so he came in and. He wanted to go. Uh, he wanted to go drive the Chevelle. So I have a 1970 Chevelle Super Sport. Totally pimped out. It looks and, beautiful. Um, yeah, there it is, picture of it. But uh, it's. Um, he, he went and he had a picture ready. Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I want to talk about my beautiful car um, and my dad. Yep. 
though, man. He's got a, I don't know. He's just, he's almost 80 years old now. Uh, and he's, he's still with it, man. He's not, he hasn't really missed much. He doesn't, uh, you know, I hope I'm, I hope I'm that sharp when I'm at his age. Uh, but he had a good yeah. time, man. We, we had a really good time. Good to hang out with the boys and the house and all that. Do your fingers keep growing? No, your ears do. Ears and nose, right? Your ears so. and nose. Yeah. But your dad's got the most giant hands ever. Yeah, I don't think his, um, I don't think so. I mean, I've told you, I, I bought him that ring for Christmas and when I, his old clash ring. And when I called Jostens, the company, the old member of them. <laughs> yeah. And uh, said, she goes, well, what's the size? And I, I'd gotten the size from my aunt from, uh, what she remembered his ring size, and I told her, you know, whatever it was, a eighteen or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't. Know. And she, Lady goes, are you, are you sure that's right? I go, yeah. I go, ah, eh. I'm like, not. We I'm made not Super sure. Bowl rings, and this <laughs> that is uh, that would be large if it was an NFL yeah. lineman. And I go, I, you know, I, I'm not positive, I, but I'm pretty sure that's right. She goes, ah, well, that's really, that's a really large, that's a really big ring size. So I go, well, let's go ahead and do it anyway. So did it, got it, too small. Whoa. <laughs> is that not insane? <laughs> like yeah. Big D will put his hand. Now Big D's 6'3". He's yeah. put his hand next to his dad's, and oh, it's, it's he looks like a child. It's embarrassing. Wow. His enormous hands. That's how he used to uh, 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 spank us. He would just hit, take two fingers and just whack us across <laughs> the head. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, Dad, you got my from my back of my calf all the way up to my back. Yeah, crazy big. Uh, and he also got one finger that when he's he kind of holds it up and it kind of cr- like the very last knuckle, like it looks like someone went cr- and just cranked it over. And it's like, whoop. like is it arthritic or something? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he, he didn't really have arthritis, but he's uh, <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Who knows with him? It was fun. It was a good time, man. It was uh, kind of one of those special moments, you know. And we came back and I uh, I had my uh, pork shoulder on the smoker and i had it on there for like 12 hours and uh and he was like well this looks good and we finished it up and I had a pulled pork sandwich and and uh, and uh are you still just not all hanging meat? out at the i had a little bit of it no i'm not eating much meat i had a little bit of it because i'm you know what man I'm, I'm gonna spend a whole in total like 14 hours doing this i'm gonna have one yeah yeah, <laughs> so yeah of course a, you are i had a uh pulled pork sandwich it was really good uh, it was good. Man, that's a lot of work. Whew. It is. But you know what's weird is it's a lot of work to you now, but like whenever you were smoking before when you were eating the meat, you didn't care. Now you're like, it's a lot of work. Right, because you're not enjoying not the enjoying it. of your labor. No. And you have nothing really to look forward to. I know. Thank <laughs> Jeez, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for smoking this for us, D. Dude, Enjoy your salad. <laughs> better off just going to get an Impossible Burger and calling it a day. Hey, I got some of those. Yeah. Uh, Carson and I, we talk about them. Mm-hmm. Are they good? Y- yeah. Y- you know, they're not bad, especially when you don't eat meat for a while, and then you put one with some a, on a bun with some ketchup and mustard or whatever you do, pickles. I, I Yeah, I can tell. But man, it's pretty close. Yeah, it's kind of like me with the zero net carb bread. And my wife is like, "This is the nasty thing ever." I think it's amazing because <laughs> I haven't eaten bread in months. Mm-hmm. And it, it is. Yeah. I'll tell you that. So we had Carson. Do you have the? Do you have just the pa- the pre done patties? Yeah. Or do you have? Okay, I had it where it was. It's like ground beef. Yeah. And you have to you make the patties. It's kind of gross. It's well, it's got kind of a it kind of it kind of smells like dog food. <laughs> And it's got a weird really, consistency. Really making it a winner. It. Yeah. I uh, mean, I just take the patties if I want something that's not a burger. Um, like when I make taco meat with it, mm-hmm. I just put it in and I, I crush it with a spoon. That way, I'm not actually ever touching it. You put a metal spoon in a metal pan? No, no, no. A um, like a wooden spoon. Oh, wooden spoon. Yeah, oh, okay. like mix it up. You know. Um, are you not supposed to do that? No, scratch no. your, yeah. you know, scratch your your non-stick coating. Dude, I don't know. First of all, I mean, look buy at stainless me. steel pots. What's wrong with you people? Yeah, Same. I, I oh. don't cast have iron. any of the yeah. cast iron skillets are the best. Do we have cast iron skillet and a big stainless steel uh, pot? And I'm good. That's does pretty it have much Rachel there. Ray's name on it at Kohl's? Then that's what I'm buying. <laughs> 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 that's what I got. You know, Ava, my daughter Ava, now has decided she wants to be a vegetarian. So she has been eating. Vegetarian only for the last, uh, I'd say, three months or so. 
And she's like, I have no energy. I miss meat, and I think I want to add some back. So she wants to eat fish. I was like, awesome, pescatarian, great. So now she wants to catch her own fish. Okay. So now I've got to find, because like the places I usually go fish, like whenever I have a little bit of time after work, are not really the cleanest water sources. So I started looking, believe it or not, the state will, they publish a thing. If you go to the wildlife uh, and fisheries, they publish a thing. It tells you what water sources are clean and which ones aren't. The ones I've been fishing are not at all. So now I don't know where to take her to go get fish unless I was like to go like, you know, in the Gulf or something or off, off in the ocean or. I don't know. Like don't everything know. I've Drop found. Drop a hook in the freezer. <laughs> every, yeah. just pull the but back. I'm just saying, every know, single I place it. I found that I could fish, I always go and yeah. I cross-reference it. This one's got way too high mercury. This one's got what too a, much PVC. Yeah. This one's straight yeah. off the sewage treatment plant and whatever. Mm. It's not cool. I mean, mm. and you got to cook it, right? I mean, it'll be Yeah, hard. but I mean, but still, you don't want to have it if it's got a mercury issue or something like that. I mean, you can't cook the mercury out. I don't know. That's you know what I don't do? I don't go fishing here in town and then eat what I can. I, yeah, I but stuff. you have all the people that are all like climate this, climate that. Man, pollution is the problem with the earth. More than the climate. Climate change is natural. You want to argue with that? Uh, Bubba Radio on oh, Twitter. Lord. Have Nobody at it. Just did. Uh, just like, no, I'm just saying. Pollution oh, is a big why, problem, why and I, I just it's really prevalent now because as I'm looking for places to go take my daughter fishing for food, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know. This is uh, we need to fix this. Why does she want to eat her, her just because, because uh, she whole... feels she's like, a hippie? Not no, really. No, she but feels she wants like, to be. No, she feels like if she you know want harvest it herself, like she's down for deer and all that kind of stuff. She's like, yeah, I'll eat deer. So I'm like, all right, we have nothing in the freezer right now, but I okay. got some deer sausage in the freezer right here. Well, I'm going to take that home. She's not going to like that. it. Why? <laughs> I thought I thought she wasn't eating meat. No, she's cool. she right. and I talked about it. She's like, I just want it to be. <laughs> Uh, you know, wild sourced, whether it's wild caught fish or meat that somebody's <laughs> harvested on their own. That's her thing. And I'm like, you know what? That's fine. Like, that's so a now fine. I'm excited to say with that. if, like, you live off that. But this is like a 16 Dude. year old girl who works at a, at a department store. But I'm just saying, yeah. this is exciting yeah. because now I, mean? I, ha- she can't. I have a fishing partner. Yeah. I have a buddy to go yeah. hunting with. Okay. I think that's yeah. awesome. And we can make go. new, she's really cool Ava. memories. The Ava is going to go hunting. No, with Bubba. she's getting rid of the nails and all that. She's like, yeah, oh, next yeah. time I go get them done, I'm getting them shorter because I won't be able to do that kind of stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I can't mm, wait. Give it till. six months. <laughs> six <What>? months? <laughs> I don't know about six months. One hunting trip. <laughs> one one she ever, good time ha, in a she, tree stand. Has she it. ever gone hunting at all? No. No. Uh, <clears throat> no, we shoot like out in the back. Man, and hunting was boring and hard to get into when I was 12, and we didn't have computers yeah, in you, our pockets. But you didn't have a mission. See, that's the beautiful thing is yeah. she has a mission. Yeah, I did. It was called Make My Dad Think I'm Not a Loser. And it was, that was my <laughs> entire reason for going. And I, I, I got into it, and I loved doing it for all through my you know teen years. But we didn't have the level of distraction that they have. Like, you know, no, you can't bring your phone yeah. <laughs> to the hunting, to the tree stand. Well, I'm excited, and I really, truly believe that this is going to be good bonding time for the two of us. There's a I place did. not far from here that's got incredible... Uh, duck hunting. So if you want to try that, I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off in small game. I don't know if she. <clears throat> I mean, I, I would have to really work with her because you know when you're when you shoot targets your whole life, it's really hard to train yourself to lead and that kind of stuff. But I think it can happen. I mean, get her duck hunt. Yeah, duck hunt. You know, man. that's yeah. it. Little NES action. Mm-hmm. Is that not the same thing? Oh, the do video they still game. Do, yeah. do they still the do the gun game. for it? The I hope gun so. Like, yeah. And then the dog. <laughs> They yells at you. Like, hee hee, I'm making fun of you. It's about as close uh, as I ever came. Well. So well, it's interesting. So she if she's she doesn't want to eat meat, but she'll eat it if she kills she, it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So she's it's more than just the, the she just was like, Man, I want I can arrange a trip to a cattle farm. Well, that's the problem. She told me that she, she watched a documentary about a cattle farm and also pigs and chickens and she watched this thing, you know, you know, she's like Big D. Whatever <laughs> the documentary she watched, that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. And I D, know D yeah. will tell you whatever the latest documentary he watched said, and that is his new thing, man. That is it. That it's is true. it's like gold and he never wavers. And whenever he watches it, that's your mind for the next six months at least. I went I went uh, uh plant based diet for two years. 
I after mean, he watched a documentary that I debunked in 10 minutes. But, you know, hey, man. Yeah, you're bro. brilliant. Well, yeah. No, I'm not brilliant. I'm just a skeptic. Yeah, yeah, I can well, show you a documentary that says the opposite of what that one says. There's that's documentaries. That's, the, that's yeah. the dangerous thing is there's documentaries for everything. But, yeah, so she watched this, and I will tell you it's crazy. Like, halal. You ever watch the halal videos? That's some crazy stuff. No, that is some crazy that's stuff. That's some crazy stuff. I'm like, what? But anyway, so, yeah, I'm very excited that uh, that she wants to source her own meat. She wants to harvest her own game. I'm totally down for that. That is what we need more of in America. I mean, we are consumers, not producers. Let's get out there, his baby. Optimism. It really is impressive. It's, what? It, it, it is. It's just. It's just the thing is. I mean, I, I I appreciate it too, and I can you know, but it's just it's not sustainable. Like she, no, she it's lives, totally sustainable. No, no <laughs> she's not going to live. I get that, but she's not. <laughs> she's not going to do this very oh. long. Like she, you don't unf- know. <laughs> yeah, I do know. <laughs> I do know, man. I mean, I feel like I, mean, I feel like he's got a better chance of being right than you do. But I mean, y'all want to put money on this because I mean, we don't have enough. Why does bets everything going? always have to yeah. become a bet, with Patrick. Patrick? Yeah, I don't know because Patrick's that's got what the we one do. Got a gambling line. problem? Call one eight hundred. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, right. it's okay. Good for her, man. I hope it works out and she, uh, you know, does that and she. Um, nah, that's 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 a tough thing. You're gonna. But okay, if you kill if Zach, came up to you today and said, "Dad." I want to start hunting my own food. Yeah. I want to go get my own fish. You're yeah. all in, aren't you? Of course not. No, Cause, really? Yeah, because I'm be. realistic, and I would go, <laughs> "Yeah, son, we live in a in a cult. We live in a, a cult sack when in <laughs> in a neighborhood." <laughs> And a cul-de-sac. He said a cul-de-sac. It sounded like he cul-de-sac. said we live in a cult. We live in a cul-de-sac. 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 Uh, and so you're going to not eat meat unless you kill it? That's just mm-hmm. unrealistic. You can eat rabbit, squirrels, and that one coyote we see from time to time. Dude, uh, I can skin a squirrel in about 60 seconds. Okay, good yeah. for you. But well, you can teach that to your daughter. Dude, just Boy, that'll go over make, the, make the right cuts, and you grab the tail, and you Look step at this. on the Step on you. Go. It's one big thing. Like a zipper. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or you just let him go hang out on the power lines. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Fine. Um, well, anyway, but yeah. It took a weird turn. It really what? did, it really man. Did. <laughs> I'm sure it's out there. Google it. If somebody on TikTok is oh. showing you the fastest way to skin a squirrel. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a squirrel skinning video. Do not skin make video. a squirrel skinning video. <laughs> Do not. I don't need animal rights groups that's lighting what, us up with hate. That's we what you need, need to do this weekend. You need to find her and just oh. uh, you know, pop one and then go Will out she? there and go, watch, honey. Will she eat lobster from the grocery yeah. store that's oh. in a tank? Uh, oh. I don't know. I mean, she didn't I have catch it, but like she picks it out. Yeah, still alive I don't know. when you bring it home. I don't know. My wife does not like when I. Yeah, she doesn't. If she has to see it actually get boiled, mm-hmm. she's out. Like I'll do crawfish and all that, and she's yeah. like, I don't want to watch okay. it happen because you can hear crawfish scream. You do. They make a little. Is that a real thing? I always hear people. Real. Yeah, you hear. I've, little, I've heard that my it's whole like a life. High I never. Pitched, oh no. yeah, dude. I'm that high pitched noise is the is the butane, or whatever. Um, Patrick debunking. I will do. <laughs> there he, is. I, there I he do, goes again. Because I'm a I'm a, a good Cajun kid. I will actually go and uh, I'll do lobster. I'll get lobsters and I'll do them like crawfish, uh, because like oh. in the off season. You, you you know, you're not getting it. I mean, November, you're not going to get crawfish. So unless it's like Chinese. So I'll get fresh lobster and I will boil them right there. Just like uh, like crawfish. Season with all those season. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's so just amazing. like giant crawfish, like giant crawfish. Yeah. Does it taste it's the same? Pretty, pretty, pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. I mean, look, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. But I'll do that. And it's great. But like Stacy and the girls, they can't watch me cook it because they feel guilty. But they're gonna, okay. they'll eat it, but they can't watch it happen. But, but weird. But, but Ava's gonna but go Ava's kill gonna an go. animal. <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. Yep. Okay. Well, I think the difference yeah. is again. And it's back to his never-ending optimism, and it is adorable. I used to support this girl. If anything, maybe I'll just become the provider. Hey, I'll catch fun. the fish and I'll bring it to her. It's like a friend of mine wouldn't eat crawfish if she had to look at it and peel it. So she made us all peel it for her. And then she'd mm. eat it. You know what? I, and I realized this was the biggest scam ever. I, yeah, because <laughs> they don't want to do it. Like, do I, the work. And we'd had a few drinks, and I realized about 
two dozen in that I'm doing all the work and Aaron's eating all the tails. Yeah, I uh, I actually, somebody had me do that for them one time. So I made sure whenever I'd take the heads, I always put them looking at them. So like <laughs> after about 10 minutes, they had 45 crawfish heads just all staring at, staring them. at them. They're like, you're doing that on purpose. I'm like, doing what on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> totally. They're watching you. <laughs> They're totally watching you. <laughs> Uh, Look well, at Clary! Happy birthday, Kenny Chesney. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, are all we right. done? I think so. Yeah, we're fine. All right, guys, thank you all for watching. Again, uh, Big D refer- referenced Kenny Chesney because if you're watching on the YouTube stream or Facebook or wherever you may be watching, Twitter, um, you're, the audio stream is the only place you're going to find the Kenny Chesney interview, and that is coming up right after this jingle. Yay! This was the podcast, but now it's over. But that's okay, because you can listen to the regular show on the radio every day. It was the podcast.